Hi everyone, Sam here. Welcome back to another video here from Osaka while I really milk this cow, which is Osaka, because I want to make as much content as I can. So uh, today I want to show, talk about my Voigtlander 35 Ultron F2. Uh, it's not really going to be a review, just like a long term, six months, half a year review. I've been using this lens since I got the M262. I was using this lens on my Leica SL before. I also used it on my Fuji X-H1, which is interesting. Oh yeah, and by the way, I will be focusing on my experience using this lens on a Leica M camera, but you can totally use this on a Fuji or other mirrorless cameras. It's a lot of fun and the results are not bad, but keep in mind that on a crop sensor, this lens becomes a 50 mm full frame equivalent, so you will have to work with a different field of view. Personally, I think this lens makes more sense on a full frame camera. And for the price of this lens, you could almost buy two Fujinon 35 F2s, but if you are into true manual focusing, this lens is not a bad option. I think it's the best 35 option for Leica M cameras. And I actually prefer it over the 35 Summicron as spherical from Leica, which I tried for a day. And it, it just was a little boring and lifeless. And normally I don't like cameras that have uh, a vintage look and this lens is from the vintage line. I don't want to talk too much about technical specs, but basically it has swirly bokeh, but it's very sharp. It has that vintage look, but it has a modern sharpness, which I really like. And there's another lens that a lot of people buy from Voigtlander. It's the 35 Nocton 1.4. Come here, doggy. Yes, boss. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alex here, he has the 35 F1.4 Nocton, which is... Uh, Hold on. Let me take this off. <laughs> knocked on now. Knock oh, oh, knock knock. Who's there? Yeah. It's a knock <laughs> That wasn't hmm. funny. So that is another very popular option. And I think most people who buy like an M6, a film camera or a digital M, they go for the knock because they can't afford the Leica, right? But uh, if, you're in that, if you're in that position, I would look at this lens as another option. It's just an F2 lens. Oh, what a shame. But um, I would argue it's a little bit sharper than this lens and... It is sharper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he also tried it and yeah. um, I didn't really uh, use uh, this, this lens. But uh, I want to show some comparisons between this lens just to show you the character of this lens. Because there are a few reviews online, but I think it's hard to tell exactly the look you're getting with this camera. So this is the lens without the lens hood and I really like how compact it is. See, it's very small and uh, compared to the Nocturne, which is also very small, but This one is a little bit wider or wider, yeah. larger, but I think height-wise, it's about the same. It's and what is your filter thread? This is 43 millimeter. Oh, okay. Which I actually quite like because I have a lot of other lenses that are 43 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I have a lot of lenses like that. that have a 39 millimeter oh. filter thread, so it makes sense for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you see it's just a little uh, smaller and um, I don't know the weight, who cares, it's, it's light. <laughs> I guess I have to talk about uh, the experience using this lens, like how it operates or how I operate the lens. So the thing is, with the Ultron, you have this focus knob, um, which looks cool, looks vintage, but I don't really like it because um, it's not very fast. Like, yeah, you can do this, but I prefer uh, a regular focus tab um, because I, so far, I couldn't really develop any muscle memory because if, when you have a focus tab like this, you know how you can uh, remember the positions? Here's like mm. one and a half meter and then like two and it's like close focus and... Yeah. You can't really do that on this lens um, unless you're always using your finger, but it's not really stucking. Like, it's, it's hard to stick on the knob, if that makes sense. Um, and there's actually a new lens from Voigtlander, uh, a Mark II version of this lens. And what they did is they updated um, the body design and they added a proper focusing tab, similar like this one. Like this one. And I really had high hopes for that because uh, it sounded like the perfect lens for me. So I bought it and I'm going to show you some B-roll of that lens because I unfortunately had to return it uh, because I didn't like it. Uh, one of the reasons was that uh, it wasn't properly calibrated. 
so I couldn't really focus at F2. Um, yeah, it, it was basically useless, uh, unfortunately. But that wasn't the only issue. The other issue was that they made the focus ring stiffer, so it was it's much more stiff than this one. And on top of that, uh, when you go close to the close focusing range, it was stuck sometimes. Like it got stuck, and then it really felt bad, and I didn't like it. And to be honest, after seeing the lens in person, it doesn't look as pretty as I thought. Maybe the black one looks nicer, but I now prefer the Mark One. It looks just better on the camera. I mean, looks are not everything, but I guess if you they're not get a like. I thought we're Leica owners, and that's yeah, all we care about. I know. Did I mention I shoot Leica? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I will buy a focusing tab. Or actually, I wanted to buy a focusing uh, focus tab that a guy made makes on Etsy. And then I posted on my Instagram that I'm going to buy a 3D printed focus tab. And then the guy who sells it on Etsy actually reached out to me and said, yo, I can just send you one. And uh, he will actually give you guys a promo code. So if you want to buy... If you want to buy the 3D uh, printed focus tab, um, there will be a promo, promo code. I will show it here or in the description. Um, so thanks to... Shit, I don't remember his name. I should probably say his name. Mr. Etsy. <laughs> I think it's Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't have it yet because he just sent it to me. But I will switch to future Samuel to talk about the focus tab and show you how it looks and how he likes it. And then we will talk about the rest. Hi everyone, future Samuel here. I mean, technically, this is still past Samuel, but anyways, this is how the focus tab looks like on a 35 Ultron. Now, before I share my thoughts on this tab, I'm going to show you how to install it first. Okay, so first we need to take off the focus knob and you can just twist this. Oops, and it's gone. <laughs> so let's put this focus tab on the lens now. Uh, you just need to find the hole. That's what she said. And then just get a screwdriver. Now I wouldn't screw it on too tightly in the beginning because it does wiggle a little bit. So you have to find the middle and the best location and then hold it and then just finish it like so. And that is how you install the focus tab on the lens. Now let me give you my thoughts on this focus tab. Um, first of all, I really think this improves the handling of this lens um, because it's a proper focusing tab now. and. Um, you can build up that muscle memory that is important when you don't want to look at the scale and you want to focus by feel. Build quality wise, I think it's a solid tab. I mean, it's probably plastic and yeah, I mean, it feels all right. And yeah, it's definitely an improvement. Um, personally, I would love to see maybe two more variations of the focus tab. Now, this is personal preference, of course, but I really love uh, this focusing tab here on my 50 Summerit. They almost look like devil horns. Um, they're very spiky and, and deep and I really love this focus tab because it's it's so fast. But this is totally fine and I think it's the same as the Voidlander focusing tabs. It kind of feels like it. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. So thank you Mark for sending this out to me. I was about to buy it but then he approached me and uh, sent me one. So thank you. So yeah, check it out on Etsy. Um, I will provide a link in the video description. So that was a quick first look on uh, the Ultron F2 from Voidlander. Just wanted to show you this lens. Uh, I'm going to take some pictures over, over this weekend. And um, yeah, I will just show you my best of um, pictures, not only from this weekend, but the best of of this lens that I, wait, basically my best photos I took using this lens since last year, September. Uh, yeah, here it is.
Yeah, I can definitely recommend it. And I hope this was useful for you making a decision. And I know it wasn't really technical, but I just wanted to show you how it performs on the street because I didn't really see many videos showing the character very well. Um, it's really hard judging a lens based on sample photos. So I hope these were a little closer to what you really get in real life. Um, that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. And I'll see you next time. Sayonara. <laughs>